Hi Virgo, welcome to your December 2017 love reading. It's Raina here. Now they're doing work across the street and I hope that it doesn't come through. But I just wanted to give you the heads up on that. And I also want to let you know that I have a 20% discount offer for all my readings through the end of December 2017. And the coupon code is JUPITER. I believe you have to use all caps because I've had a, a few issues where it hasn't taken off the discount and I think it was because of that. So um, that the link to my site is below. And uh, I'm just shuffling the cards. <laughs> Somebody asked me or wrote to me today and said, hey, how come you didn't shuffle the cards? And um, I'm like, I didn't. Sometimes I start readings over again and the cards already laid out. But that's, um, that's not all the time. And uh, I usually say at the beginning that that's why I'm doing it that way. So... Okay. The other thing is that I've made this point in, in readings before years that um, sometimes people think that there's not uh, acknowledgement for people who are single. And so I'm going to try to be mindful of that, but a lot of times it seems like the past always creeps in and that there's a lot of these past connections. And so um, let me just uh, see what I can do here in terms of being as universal as possible. Obviously, this is a general reading, so it's going to um, not necessarily resonate with all people for all situations. The um, overall focus or the heart of the matter is the king of pentacles. If this is a different person, uh, this is somebody who is in a position of authority, someone who is a business owner, uh, definitely has that kind of mindset of being all about their money. It could be like your boss even, but um, you're also an earth sign, so you, you represent pentacles. I suppose this could be a facet of yourself. It's funny that I got as the, the past position, the queen. So we got the queen and the king, although this is cups. So how can I possibly um, look at this? Well, are you involved with your boss? Um, other possibilities can be that you are dealing with somebody who is um, the father of your child, because kings can be fathers, and that this person is um, playing a big role in your life at the present time. Any kind of uh, a more mature earth sign. So if it's not Virgo, then Taurus or Capricorn, or they have a very strong emphasis of that in their chart so that they have that kind of like practical and business approach towards life itself. They could possibly be an older person, or if they're younger, they are older than their years. So especially with Capricorn, because Capricorn is uh, ruled by Saturn, and, and they always say Capricorn people are, are young, are old when they're young, and they get younger as they get older. And in the past position, we have the Queen of Cups, which is a card that is very, very intuitive, psychic, receptive, um, double feminine energy. So it's kind of like um, someone who is um, compassionate, feeling that sense of their heart chakra being open and stuff like that. So what does that mean? Well, uh, being a Virgo, and this has nothing to do with a male or female um, Virgo, but you are, even though you're an earth sign and that means you're a feminine sign, um, you're, an, you're an earth sign, so you tend to be more practical and less emotional like this card would suggest. So 
someone may have come into your life which kind of like made you uh, lose that guard or you know bring your guard down but it's really not guard it's just that you you approach the world in a more rational less emotional way but somebody may have really kind of like touched your heart and made you more open and uh, now we're looking at heartbreak okay so this is what I'm talking about when I'm I'm saying that it's very hard for me to do these types of spreads with single people I think that I think that I might have to do separate readings um, occasionally for just singles because it just comes out that way when I do this um, now this could indicate also that there are three parties involved in your situation and perhaps it's um, of the water element and the earth element or, or un, unless that earth sign is you but the water is Cancer Scorpio and Pisces and Pisces is your opposite sign and so maybe you're involved in a lover's triangle in some way and I feel that for some people there may be that connection to a person uh, having a child with that person and maybe that is why they are um, continuously um, coming in contact with that person even if they have broken up with that person so for instance you're involved with somebody who has a child with somebody else and they are forced to have contact with that person because they have to deal with the child and then they have little flings now and then and that creates a sense of like anguish within you and uh, you don't you know you may feel very anxious about it um, the higher message the spiritual message is the high priestess which either means that you need to connect with your higher self and really determine what is the proper course of action for you perhaps you have been um, in denial in some way because the the high priestess can mean that there is something that is hidden in this situation and you are perhaps sticking your head in the sand even okay and that is causing you to um, be in a in a in a uh, what do you call that in a position of um, you know the hangman card is about being in suspension I can't think of the proper term oh in limbo okay being in limbo because you know that something's going on but you can't put your finger on it perhaps the other person is being dishonest um, the the Queen of Cups I think relates to cancer but I would even look at Pisces okay so just um, just be aware of that because that could um, possibly be indicating that um, you're dealing with people so as you're dealing with somebody who is being deceptive even you know and you know yeah that's the thing too the Queen of Cups because it is that that psychic card it's like you know what's going on but you you know the other person may be denying it and it's kind of crazy making what crosses you and this is a challenge card is represented by the devil the devil card connects to Capricorn so I had mentioned possibly Capricorn for some of you it's kind of giving you that second opinion of yeah this is not a good relationship but for some of you this could simply be telling you that there's something in this relationship that is keeping you there that is keeping you in that state of bondage so whether it is that um, that the, the devil card can relate to excessive 
materialism. So money issues, if you feel like, uh, yeah, because the king of pentacles, if this is not you, then, and if it's the other person, they may have a lot of money. They may be a, um, affluent. And if the king of pentacles is you, you may be thinking, I don't want to get divorced because then I will lose some of my money. And yet you're being kept in bondage because of the situation. So it's like every possible um, answer to the, or, you know, solution to this doesn't seem like <laughs> it's something that is going to end well. But really, it's about changing your um, values. If you did not value or worship money or think that financial security was so important, then you would be able to risk having maybe um, a lower standard of living in relationship, uh, in um in exchange for a more authentic life, a more peaceful life, and things like that. So it's about flipping the script and, and seeing how much happier you can be if you're in, if you make different choices. The advice is the Four of Swords, which is about retreat and maybe some solitude and contemplation so that you can consider your next move. This you may just decide to do on your own. This may be talking about the near future. In December, of course, it's a holiday month. Um, a lot of people are actually socializing. So this is kind of like doing something different. But of course, Virgo, you represent the Hermit card. So you may be somebody who is very comfortable uh, going into solitude and being like the hermit and, and looking, uh, searching your soul for the answer to your dilemma. And even if it's in, the, in December, you may say, you know what, I'm not even going to do Christmas this year. I'm going to go and I'm not even going to socialize. I'm going to take some time off. And I'm just going to go to a retreat center. Um, sometimes they have them not too expensive. You can you can look. I, I remember I went to a retreat, like a day retreat. And it was not like we weren't going to sleep over or anything. But the person running it was a Buddhist monk. And he had a retreat center that he, you know, invited people to come to spend more time at. And it, I don't think it was that much money to stay there for a week or a month or what have you. So those are always options. You could check with um, the, the, the type of, um, you know, maybe a, a Buddhist type of a place. Or, yeah, there, there could be any kind of um, religion. But they, you know, they have them in rural areas and they might uh, allow you to stay there for a week, like an ashram type of thing in your state or your uh, country. And yeah, and the outcome, <laughs> I don't know why I was grabbing my deck of cards, um, is the Eight of Cups, which is the card of leaving that which no longer serves you. And because it's cups, it's talking about it from the emotional level. Now, isn't it interesting that the top left card is cups? And that is talking about really being in tune with your intuition. And then we have a card about the eight of cups, which is leaving almost like on a spiritual quest, Virgo. And... It's interesting because I was thinking about your 12th house, which I I associate with um, the Queen of Cups. The Eight of Cups I associate with maybe the 8th house of Scorpio, because uh, Scorpio is the 8th house. But regardless, we'll just say, um, we'll just look at the 12th house because that tends to 
be where people kind of um, eradicate some of the habits that they have. And that's what this represents, the addictions, the habits. Um, maybe the past life karmic relationships, which are plaguing them. And you have Leo there. And actually, in 2018, you're going to have a full moon in this 12th house on January 31st. So it's very possible that, you know, since you've had the North Node is in your 12th house in Leo for another year or so, and you had a solar eclipse there. So it's possible, Virgo, that you have been kind of clearing the decks, and perhaps there is some relationship here, and who knows, maybe this has dragged on for a long time for some of you, and you're getting ready to kind of um, go off in a new direction. And this last card definitely seems to suggest that. So I hope that this resonated with some of you, and I wish you all the best for December. Take care of yourselves. Bye.